Yo, 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 yo. Good morning. Just trying to find the right soundtrack. All right, we're going to break into doing this uh, hoodie. Right now, it's just starting up a couple of things here, trying to get Instagram Live going as well. I forgot how to do So, good morning and thanks for joining me here at Airmarkable Studios. Trying to focus on getting these uh, streaming services all up and ready. Can't recall how to do the one on Instagram. We may bypass that. I know there was a way, I just can't remember. All right. We'll try that for another day. So I spent some time last night figuring out what was wrong with the YouTube API. Uh, I guess it's called an API. I don't know. I still didn't fully follow some of the... um, I guess, uh, you know, advice that I had found on the internet, but something I did work and hopefully we shall start building up our YouTube channel with some streaming work. So I started prepping this uh, hoodie and how I did that was I generally sprayed a good amount of black right on top of the black hoodie then I dried it and I pressed it and I'm probably gonna have to do the white as well pressing that repeating the process but currently right now at this stage I'm just going to build the graphic build the composition and see where it goes because I have something in my head Um, certainly achievable, but I have to consider my time and the actual value of the work. 
Can't overdo it here. Can't underdo it. Can't go too fast. Can't go too slow. So this way it has to be kind of built up. Dried in between. And then we're going to lay some color in and figure out how this sunset is going to look. We also have to put this young lady's name on here. Uh, it was the, uh, this is a continuing continuation of the order that I did yesterday. Got a bit tired last night and I just kind of conked out. So, more than likely I'm going to put the name. Uh, I was thinking about putting the name separate, but... I forgot, I'm doing this on a dark surface, so I would rather just make the composition of, you know, a um, circle or uh, an oval, and I'll be able to spray the name on top of the graphic. So that's what I'll do. It'll come down through this uh, pocket a little bit, but not much. So it may look like a mess right now. Like I'm airbrushing the moon on here. But I will clean it up. This actually reminds me of another shirt I just previously did of a golf ball. And that was for a client that uh, was going to reprint the artwork. And I have it around here somewhere. Maybe I'll be able to locate it. Here we go. Spot on. So with this, I actually left the overspray. Primarily because this was going to be scanned in and, and then I could just crop out the area that I didn't need. And uh, I really like the halo effect around the ball. It allows for the darker portion for the shadow to stand out from the black shirt. It also kind of gives off a vibe that the ball is glowing or something. I don't know. But that's not what we're doing today. We are doing sunsets. No rainbows, just sunsets. Boom, boom, boom. So currently, doesn't look like I have an audience, but we're going to rock this out anyway. Regardless. So... Basically using some reference because I haven't done a beach scene in a minute and I'm just trying to get some composition ideas. I have something in mind, but um, I have the color scheme already. Shout out to Chino and Miriam. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if they're watching. I had mentioned to them I was going to be streaming this. Yeah, I'm wondering if I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to do the sun in here. 
I may need to change a couple of colors. I forgot I need to do... I'm not going to do this neon-ish. I want to do this with more realistic colors. So neon yellow is out. Yeah, I was trying to recognize or boil down what my process is and uh, generally, you know, how I come up with, uh, you know, the ideas. And I suppose uh, it's, it's definitely through repetition, the choices that you make primarily in the moment. Decisions that have to be made before you can get to the next step. But that's generally how I work. Um, I can imagine what um, you know the end result is going to be, but I'd have to say that it's not reliable. My experience and the things that you've seen me do before is more reliable than what I can say that I, I can do from my uh, experience projects tend to uh, you can't think of every scenario or situation when you are giving somebody your um, opinion on, uh, you know, how it's going to work out. I can't say that I am flying off the cuff, but I generally uh, try to get a couple of steps down. And once I'm in the middle of it, the decision-making uh, process starts, and that's when the art starts. All decisions on what to do based on the previous decision. So, generally, if I don't have any brushes clean and ready to go, I can't spray. I have to stop in the middle of it, and that's not always good. Airbrushes uh, tend to be finicky, and they don't always want to work when you need them to work. So what I plan on doing here is I'm just going to get a basic uh, composition of color here and uh, it won't show up looking very good at first. This process is a building up kind of uh, process and a layering process where once I place some color on here and then I, the next step would be very counterintuitive. I'm going to spray white right back over it. I need to turn on this monitor. All right. Very sorry you can't see that. I don't really want to turn the camera around to show you the reference uh, that I'm looking at. But we're trying to go with those colors.
them out, even though the middle part is probably where my horizon is going to be. The colors in a sunset are going to reflect off of the water and they're basically going to be the opposite going down as they go, you know, as the opposite of the way they go up. So I'm filling in both areas with a progressive amount of uh, color here. It's not easy to make this transition. Primarily, uh, it's a sunset that um, is going into a uh, nighttime scene. Um, very dark at the top. Just as the sun is setting, there's a lot of orange going into blue. If anybody's curious, this is my heat gun hair dryer slash hair dryer. Actually, I wouldn't use it on my hair. Um, it is extremely hot. And it is primarily made to take paint off the wall or wallpaper. But in the airbrush industry, we use it to fast dry. The apparel. So what I'm trying to do is uh, build up the opaqueness of the uh, composition so that way the black doesn't shine, you know, uh, see through, and the color becomes more vibrant. What's interesting is sometimes, uh, depending on how you iron this, it can pick up the pattern of the uh, cardboard in the back. Those lines will eventually disappear. Like, saturate this with color. So, I think at this point, I'm going to kind of figure out what the composite the general composition is I wanted to have maybe like a pier going out into the distance uh, that feels more Long Island to me uh, and we don't generally have palm trees so it's kind of difficult to figure out what kind of um, What's the word I'm looking for? Trees or uh, greenery. Uh, things that you will see in this kind of environment. 
going to place her name more towards the bottom here and in the corner. So this is primarily water. Here is where I figured I'd put the pier and you know the beach is uh, going to be down here. Maybe we can do some uh, as if the wave is coming in but very gently. We don't have, you know, temperate, uh, you know, uh, waves uh, or very harsh waves out here. Uh, only, I suppose, when it's uh, storming. All right. I'm going to clean up some of the overspray. And then we're going to add another layer of color. I mentioned last night that I was going to do this off camera because it is the tedious and boring part. It doesn't really give you much information, I suppose, but uh, it's part of the process. So as I go towards the top, I'm going to make this a lot darker. And it will be the uh, background above the clouds, which uh, it's the clouds that generally build that atmosphere and make the composition look real. Sometimes, most of the time, I actually like to let this air dry. But being that uh, we are on stream, I'm going to make snap decisions and just get it done and get it out of the way. Now this portion right here is more beach. I'm going to just drop in some brown. This one is a bit dark. Maybe what we'll do is use that as the uh, base, and then I can do sand dunes with a lighter color. Or I'm not even going to do sand dunes, we're just doing waves right here. Or how do you say, uh, the uh, crest of the water, foam part. So I almost don't want to layer on too much. Thank you. 
also heat will help when you're spraying um, in this manner, this technique, trying to layer on the color. I need a brush for every color. Missing. Let's see, I think we want this blue. I saw a very interesting uh, artist last night on Twitch. Yo, what up, dude? Jesse Rodriguez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. But, uh, yeah, this artist was a digital artist, and, uh, you know, he had similar issues that I have with streaming. Can't say that I gave it up uh, when I first started, but I, you know, was kind of on a roll, and I was getting better at it. But um, I had a couple of, uh, I guess downfalls with uh, the fact that I didn't have a big audience at all and um, then my computer started acting up and the streaming wasn't uh, correctly responding I suppose it was dropping frames and stuttering so at some point I kind of just put my hands up and gave up and just said you know I'm gonna concentrate on other things and, uh, you know, now I still put some effort into the streaming. You have to. But I guess my knowledge of, you know, how to make it work is um, a little bit better now than then. And I find it, um, I guess, relaxing that, uh, you know, I'm talking and painting. I may not be having a complete conversation with somebody yet, but uh, it helps pass the time. And I suppose because I have, uh, you know, is it ADD, uh, attention deficit disorder, or whatever? And I don't think I've. clinically have it, I would just, my assertion that uh, because I'm very, dis I'm easily distracted and uh, it's always, you know, something art related or something, um, lately it's been a lot of these YouTube videos on uh, race matters and um, Corona. Actually, I shouldn't even mention meant the beer, Corona the beer. But uh, I know that they tend to restrict your video or block you because I had one video already restricted, and I looked at, it, I'm like, well, what happened here? There's no um, profane content. But uh, that's why they flagged me, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. All right. 
Am I going to do one more white? Yeah, we're going to do one more layer of white over this. And then we're going to press it and start to place, uh, you know, some com uh, composition elements. Yo, my bad, uh, Jesse. I didn't really get a chance to look at your work. I'm going to try to look at that right now while this is drying. Oh, somebody called here. Jesus. Why isn't this thing just... It never... never rings anymore. People, I have no idea why my phone does not ring anymore. It rings when it wants to. I had something set to shut, you know, the ringer off. But it seems it's on. It's on right now. Can't tell you why it doesn't come on. Certain people, well, they believe otherwise. Okay, so I'm going for Facebook. Search. There you are. <laughs> oh that's dope man thank you for sharing uh my uh stream there really appreciate that 1k views really a thousand views what they say uh wow Ooh. This is why Flores closed the beaches. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I was looking for your art, Jesse. Um, my bad. I don't know how to go through these um, profiles anymore. There it is, photos. Oh, yeah. Alex Monopoly. Uh, Mr. Monopoly. For some reason, I, I associate Monopoly guy with Alex Monopoly. He just jacked that logo for himself or that symbol. It's hilarious. But I like that piece. Very nice uh, Monopoly guy. And this portrait is sick. I like that. Very keen. Oh yeah, some roller skates. Very nice. Great work. So you out of Texas, uh, Jesse? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I, I really appreciate you um, posting those up because I am I can't believe it. I'm, I would say that I'm lazy. Actually, I think it goes along with the ADD, uh, ADD or whatever it is, uh, primarily because I start something and then I'll jump over to doing something else. And uh, I get mad at my mom for that as well. She does it tremendously, but um, I have to take notice that I do similar things. But yeah, I tend to not post in these uh, forums uh, 
and it's and it seems to be quite easy. I should give it a shot. I don't know if you can post to multiple ones at the same time, or I just haven't gone that down that route yet. I posted a couple of things, but a lot of times when you don't get a response or or uh, see any um, see anything from your, your actions, you just move on, try something else. All right, so that's kind of dried up. It's good. Still got to figure out how to make the other one work. I'm thinking about that now. This shirt is going to say party time. And it's going to have fireworks in the background. So we're going to just start with party time. And I think I'm going to rock that out right now. Just so there's a little bit more movement and progress here. And it's going to be straightforward. It doesn't really matter how I do this because the fireworks uh, is what's going to really complete the composition and make it, uh, you know, a shirt all of its own. And uh, yeah, we'll make this work. Yeah, I'm not really sure how I want these letters to be, so... Yeah, and we're probably just going to do the basic... We'll do time in black over the uh, over the color here, and then there will be firework uh, all over the place. I'll say firework blossoms or, or whatever. Oh, that reminds me, I'm gonna have to post my Fourth of July shirt, which uh, I sprayed last year and I never posted. I don't know, maybe I should be rocking that. I'll put it on tomorrow. Okay, so it's going to be something like that. And I think what I'll do here is I'll go in a little bit early and do a little bit of cleaning up with the line work. See how this may look. like of this.
So my style has um, started to develop where I don't always do the a letter on top of letter um, kind of um, you know layout. Uh, I'm starting to approach it where all the letters are connected and um, you know they have they're basically touching and they share some space uh, as to where is you know some lines get lost in the connection and I kind of like that um, But it's something you have to work into or it's your style from the from the get but it wasn't originally my style or my approach it's starting to become that but um gotta always evolve always evolve and try something that uh you wouldn't expect to work and you just try to make it work So I'm also spraying this a lot because um, the glow is going to be in there around the letters and I haven't figured out all the colors yet, the color scheme. I just wanted to set this up, let it dry while I start working on the um, sunset again. So party!
we'll still uh, end up doing some foreground um, agriculture, some trees in there. And I think I'm not going to make the sun center justified. I'm probably going to put it on offset. So I'm just trying to kind of figure out composition here. Thank <laughs> you. 
So primarily the name is going to be right in here. Be a couple of uh, some foliage down here. The we um, how do you call it? Uh, the sea foam. I don't know what it's called. The part of that wave, part of the um, crest of the wave coming in. And then we're going to um, have the reflection. I guess the water waves receding back. Maybe like, you know, one or two wave patterns here. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end up putting the sun over on this side now. It's definitely setting over here. And then we have to go light on this. And maybe even, because this is like a land formation in the distance. And we're going to maybe lighten that down and maybe make it a lot smaller so that way... The, it's, uh, you know, at the horizon line. I kind of screwed, screwed it up a little bit, but we'll make it work. That could be just a cloud thing in the distance.
So you should be able to see some of the composition a lot better now. Um, it's coming along, but I have to take a quick break. I have to go to the bathroom. So uh, whoever's watching, just give me a moment. Uh, I appreciate the view. I will be back in lickety spit. And we're back on the attack, ready to get wet, ready in all the tracks. All right. 
I remind myself I'm not a rapper, I'm an artist. <laughs> There's a bunch of uh, little loose nap things sticking up. Weird pieces of color. I want to get rid of those before uh, I move on because then they get stuck. Use this cup in a while. I figured I'd spray into it, but I, I, it seems like a, a bug flew in there and died. That's what's clinging around in there. Poor bug. What did I say I was gonna I was gonna put the sun on this side? Um oh, they're not heavy. I think I'm screwing up here.
watch it now. It's getting oversaturated. Listeners who didn't wish to hear about such things should trippers turn off their radio. Thank <laughs> you. 
time. Hi, Elliot. What's going on, buddy? Don't worry, my friend. Uh, give me one second. I'm in the middle of uh, painting. I'm not sure on the stream right now. Okay. Yeah, I was uh, going to conduct business, but I always can't do that on the phone while I'm in the middle of doing the painting. I'm trying to figure this out. All right, but it's pretty much worked out to the extremes. I gotta drop ads in the middle of when I'm feeling shit.
So if you haven't guessed, this is like full kind of experimentation here. Like I said, I haven't done a beach scene in a while, and I'm not doing a traditional beach scene. I'm trying to do something that would kind of reflect um, something that you might see closer to New York, I guess. I don't know. Huntington area, Cold Springs Harbor. All in all, I'm just messing around. I'm trying to make it work. I forgot, this yellow has uh, a glint of gold in it, or really some iridescence, I totally forgot about that. I'm wondering, I'm looking at it, I'm like, wow, there's a lot of shimmering going on in here, uh, but uh, hey, that kind of adds a little extra effect to it. So, boom, 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 boom. Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know why, but the black is just weird now, right now. Alrighty then, almost there. So I'm just generally filling this out as I go along, no right or wrong. All good learning experience. Thank you. 
say it's perfect but I kind of like it a couple more things to the name in here somewhere. I'm thinking up here now because uh, the focal point in here is the sun. Can't put it down here. It's got to be up here. Ba -boom -boom. And we're going to probably, maybe we'll put a little outline around the name. So it stands out from uh, the background. Not exactly what I anticipated, but it still looks good to me. Okay. What's her name? Yemi. Yemi. I'm going to make it go up and off. I don't know if we can get away with the white.
want to step up a little higher so I can get the right perspective for you. Strand. I think we're going okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sometimes what happens is um, when I turn the camera off, I'll probably go back and fix some things that I see. But this one is complete. That's a wrap. Just gonna move on. And I added that green because uh, I wanted to match the sneakers. So I suppose uh, <clears throat> this may not be the best time for streaming. Uh, who knows? I gotta figure out a better strategy as far as uh, building up the live views, being a little bit more entertaining. 
because uh, I guarantee you, I, I, it's it's, it's got to be tough to uh, do this on a daily basis and uh, be entertaining, be in a good mood and good spirits, and uh, being positive to keep going with the art, even when you don't want to. Okay, that's a little better view. With this shirt, I don't think we specified colors, so I'm going to stick with a similar color theme. Maybe I'm going to go the opposite, red on the inside and green on the outside primarily. That may give uh, better contrast for the fireworks. As of right now, I don't know. Tell you though, when you are working, the time does fly by. So even though I have uh, new glasses, I'm experiencing some major issues in uh, my reading distance, I suppose, and um, I'm going to have to get another pair uh, that's kind of like mid-range because I think these are more for landscape and uh, far away uh, distance seeing. And uh, I've noticed uh, my eyes strain when I go back and forth, especially looking at the phone. Alright, so we don't really know what color. I think I might end up doing this multicolored. This one we can make neon, I suppose. <clears throat> Brush is getting silly. This is why I am about to switch up and uh, maybe work with a different brand. 
We'll see what happens. Here we go again. Technical difficulties with this brush here. Take a second to fix it. Set records with the uh, viewers here. We got two in the chat. Uh, you still want to act up here. All right, you're done. Uh, that's what I mean. Millenniums, I don't know. Badger millenniums. Put you down. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh. That's better. I may end up putting on my mask because I'm going to get a lot of overspray from, from this one. 
I'm going to end up doing stencils. And what do I do with the stencils? Oh. Here's some of the firework stencils that I created yesterday. Almost too many of them. <laughs> you need variety. Colors of these letters, how are we going to do this? Trying to map it all out. As you can see, it's not easy to add uh, paint onto a dark surface. A lot of times, people have a lot of expectations when they bring you a dark shirt and don't realize how much effort really goes into it. You know what's funny? This paint actually smells like food. It's almost like roast beef or something. I'm not lying. It, it has a very distinct smell to it. And, and, and in all honesty, it smells like some kind of roast beef or something. Really odd. Roast beef paint. Now they have potato chips that are odd flavors now. That's what they should have with airbrush paints. Like I want, let me get lasagna red. And I'm definitely going to need some watermelon green. Or it could be a watermelon red, you know, you never know. How about a hamburger brown? Yeah, that'll do. All right, so to make this fun, I don't have an idea yet. Let's think about maybe even putting flames inside the lettering. Eh. <laughs> I mean, it's like you're gonna burn it down. Um, party time, fun. I like polka dots and. Yeah, we could we could generally use the same polka dot stent uh, or okay. Yeah, that's
salt and mace it like that. Into a, let's do it into a. Uh, let's do it into an orange. Back down to our neon yellow. Okay. Get that cure and dry, and then we can add the white on top of this one more time. The I'm gonna be honest, I'm not certain how these fireworks are gonna come out because if I'm spraying through the stencil, getting the color, the white is going to look very sharp. But getting the color onto that white is going to dull it out. But we'll find their way. Roast beef greens. Nice. The heat gun took some of the paint off of the foot. Gotta love that.
think we have time ready. I think it's time to do the black. I think I got stuck with party time in my head. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this was just the basic straightforward letter style. Not major league graffiti, not major league plain. I call it legible graffiti. All right, legifini. Weird in some places, but side. So there's enough opaqueness for this to take on more color and the color to be vibrant at this point. So as I place this red in here. Gotta see. Well, we're gonna do the let's do the yellow first. Thank <laughs> you. 
still need some building up. But easier than if I hadn't taken the steps that I did. Looking good. Give me troubles, roast beef. Ah, the warmer that it gets, the more temperamental the paints become. And uh, because I rarely open them, just to fill them, this one is really stuck. 
on there. Now, closer inspection, it smells more like an onion bagel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Onion bagels. Definitely onion bagel green. Millennial, millennials, or whatever you're called. Ugh. You know, one of my biggest problems with the masters was I didn't like how small their needles were. Very hard to uh, keep from bending. Ugh. These no needles are chunky, and um, it's good, but it also has bad side too. Even if it's kind of jammed and stuck. Feeling this neon green was going to be a little bit more visible. All right, we can go back and do the. Let's do the white outline first, and then we'll do the black last. Think I'm ready for the white outline? Yeah, why not? Nah, we'll save it. Do the black now. Let's drop in a little bit more yellow.
Fantastic. Okay, looking good, looking good. All right, let's do the white outline. I don't care. I don't want to leave it for last. We're going to put these uh, fireworks in there, and we can call it a wrap. Look how vibrant that white comes out. Ugh. Okay, the stomach is starting to growl like tremendously over here. So it needs attention.
Fireworks. Oh man, I could do a bunch of cool shirts with these. I'm not going to even use all the stencils on this uh, one particular shirt. But man, oh man, the uh, hunger is really biting at me. Let's give one a shot. Let's see how it works. So for those who don't, don't know about spray adhesive, this is what it is. You use this on the back of uh, the stencils to uh, reposition them or to uh, allow them to stick onto the fabric. And you have to be cautious that you don't overspray too much onto the stencil and let it dry, give it enough time for it to dry so that way it does not get onto the fabric or stick onto the fabric, I should say. Okay, I've got four laid out here. I want to make sure I have good variety. This is what it looks like. Whoa! There's some stencil juice on it. Spray adhesive. Right now it's way too sticky. 
I can feel it because it's, it's way too sticky. It's trying to stay on my fingers really well. Uh, that's too tacky, and it will um, come off of the transparency and then stick onto the shirt. That's no good. you got to let it dry a little bit more. So it barely has, you know, tack to it. So we'll give that a moment. And I can snap some pictures, I suppose. Oh. It's getting really hot in here. Ugh. Don't want to put the AC on just yet. So I remember I said I was going to tie in the shirt with the polka dot pattern. I'm looking for the stencil. It should be right here. Just used it. I just used it. There you go. Whenever you're looking for something, it's always underneath something else. It's there. better. That's better. It's barely trying to stick to my, my hands now. That's the move right there. So we shall just place it like a saw. And being that uh, this is a flat surface, we're going to get overspray. So I'm going to have to build like a Shield. Now, I'm trying to figure if I should go on top of, yeah, why not? We'll put some that are behind, but, all right, here we go.
to keep dropping paint. Damn it. Okay, we need a ledge over there, maybe or something. I don't know. All right. Now I figure I may have to spray. Say I may have to spray it on the inside while the stencil is still on there. So that way it doesn't really contaminate the whole area. Alright, let's see, that should work. Um geez. Let's hope this works. It helps to um, concentrate the color, but you don't get a glow off of it. Not bad. Now a few hundred more. like that, rinse and repeat. Oh wait. The over spray. We need the protecting. Thank <laughs> you. 
Reuse supplies as much as you can, especially tape. That was the customer. Check it in. She's making, uh, running those errands. Doing his best to, uh, be presentable for his girl once he gives her some birthday gifts. I'm sure they're going to go out. I don't know if they can go out on the town, but they are driving around the town. Uh, let's move this over a little bit. Get you involved. Ugh. So yeah, I've been too concerned with work lately and trying to 
advance and to progress in my life. And sometimes you just feel like you're just standing still. No matter how much or what you end up doing. You want to see some sort of payoff. But uh, I suppose you just got to keep working until you can recognize that it's happened. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Stuff like that. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> right there and I shall declare this one done we're done son move on to another one you know how we do just for fun spraying it out with the airbrush gun ready and willing for anybody to drop a ton cash moolah all over you, dude. So check it out. Don't be rude. Uh, did I have another one that's better? Yeah, this one is better. Yeah, so, I suppose if I were to do this next time, it, it came out pretty good. It came out the way I wanted it to, to an extent. I didn't want to overkill it with uh, busyness, so you got to have some negative space in here. And uh, one right here will balance everything else out according to me uh, but other than that uh, yeah it'll be done in a moment 
And if I were to do this, the way that I was thinking I was going to do this was I was I thought I was going to end up having a lot of overlapping fireworks and then write party time on the inside of that. But I suppose this was, I wouldn't say the more efficient way of doing it. I could have just sprayed a big um, glow in the middle here and then put the fireworks off of it. But I like this way. It's a little bit better presentation. And to me, it shows the skill. All right, so I'm just waiting for that stencil to dry. Nice and tacky. So the bonus for um, how I create stencils is it's cheap. I just purchase a large um, batch of transparencies and it goes right through the plotter pretty well. You have to have one of those cutting mats that's a little bit sticky and um, A lot of patience. Sometimes the little pieces do not come out and aren't fully cut. And then weeding everything out is just a pain in the ass. Make this one red, white, and blue.
Okay, we'll call that a wrap. Got a little too busy, but that's what parties are all about, man. Just let it all hang out. Get groovy. Yeah, that'll work. I'm not liking that one, though. up a couple of things here. Call it a wrap. So, to anybody else that's still watching, I really appreciate uh, sticking sticking it through. Uh, it's pretty enjoyable, I guess. Well, is when you get to the end. It's, I guess the best part. Yeah, we uh, the two really nice pieces, all purely custom. And uh, we're going to take a nice break, grab something to eat, and uh, figure out how we're going to wrap up the day. We make it back on here and uh, do some figure drawing. I've been doing a lot of studies, and um, maybe that'll help motivate me. I've been planning on crossing that over with uh, markers. Uh, airbrush and watercolor and figuring out how to do stuff on 
paper surfaces or more malleable surfaces. Got plenty of canvas too we can do. So I hope that uh, it was a good experience seeing me produce some art today. Hope uh, you learned something and you're inspired to pull out those airbrushes and start doing something yourself and uh, it in turn um, motivates other people whether it be for competition or just motivating yourself to um, do something, do anything and boom, you know, you've made the first step and um, yeah, it's all good I love seeing everybody else's work. I love, um, you know, giving people props. I try my best not to um, judge other people and feel like I'm superior. You know, my art is superior to theirs. It's all different. Everybody has a, you know, certain way of doing it, and we all learn from one another. And you know, I don't think there's like any prize winners, you know. When it comes to uh, being outspoken and believing, you know, it's good to believe that you're the best. But there's always somebody better. Regardless. I'm glad that I had the time to share this stuff with the people out there. Hopefully, um, you'll be motivated to leave some comments, and that will motivate me to do some more artwork and continue streaming. So there it is. Air Markable AM Studios. That's what's up. We are signing out. Have a good day, folks.